This is an HP Slimline, and I'm going to be doing a couple of simple modifications to this. It's actually for another video I'm working on. I'm turning this into a retro emulation machine, in case you're interested in that kind of thing. That'll be one of the next few videos. But we're doing some simple, quick upgrades, specifically adding some extra RAM and upgrading the hard drive to an SSD. And I figured since I'm doing it for the video, I might as well just do a quick tutorial on that as well. This model specifically is the HP HP Slimline 270-P043W, which I don't know why they couldn't just call it the Slimline 270 or something. Unacceptable! Unacceptable! Alright, first of all, I'll pop open the case. There's just one little screw on the back there. And I'm going to drop it also. And then the top just slides right off so you see where this little vent is for the fan. This is the panel, you just push it up, push it out, and then lift it directly off. Now unlike a lot of the other HP models from this era, it's not quite as simple to get to the hard drive. We have to remove a few things and pop a few screws out. That's partly due to the fact that this is a little more compact than say the HP Pro Desk. Before we start popping screws out, we want to remove the front panel as well. So where your power button is and the tray and stuff, there's these three tabs along the top. You just kind of kind of lift up on those and the whole thing pops right off the front. We have the optical drive right here. We want to remove this because the hard drive goes in below it. Your SATA data cables are right here for the optical drive. You want to pop those out. Sometimes you can just do it by hand. It can get a little annoying when they're in there really well. So it has some, you can just take a flat drive, kind of get some leverage and pop those right off. And you'll see a little tab right here on the side of the optical drive. You want to push that in and then the whole once that's in the whole drive just kind of slides right out. You can just pull it the rest of the way out. Now it's time for our super specialized highly customed star head bit for our screwdriver. So essentially and you'll see this uh, more closely when we pull the caddy out but for an HDD it sits like this across the hard drive bay horizontally but for an SSD which is not as uh, not as large it sits this way. But for now let's focus on taking these screws out. So to remove this caddy we have a few screws it looks like three screws on the front there is a couple here, one here, and then there's going to be one on the inside. Now if you're looking at the front of the case, the one on the inside is going to be down here, sort of on your left, on the left. It looks just the same as the screws you just took out. And now with our screws out, this caddy will just lift right out of here, here, but be careful and do it slowly because there is a wire. So I'm not going to pull it all the way out. I just kind of have it flipped up on the inside here. So I'm not going I'm not going to disconnect that wire. There's really no need for it. And I feel like you're kind of playing with fire with a connector like that. And actually I got a little bit ahead of myself. You blew it! Before we install the SSD, let's go ahead and drop in the extra RAM because as you can see with this hard drive caddy out of the way, we actually have space to get in here and drop in the second stick of RAM. This is an 8 gigabyte stick and you can look up the, the RAM type for this model. You can also look at the RAM that's already in the PC and just get a similar stick, the, the right model. This is a DDR4 PC4 2400. And if you've ever inserted RAM, this is going to be just like any other time we've done it. Here's our first RAM slot there and then here's our second one down here. I'm going to kind of move First of all, make sure your tabs are opened up on the new open slot that you're putting this in. I'm going to kind of lift these wires up and get this generally close to lined up. Line it up properly in the slots and just push down solidly until your tabs click back into place. The RAM is set and we can move on to the hard drive. Now hopefully you have some hard drive screws, but if not, you might be able to harness some from elsewhere in the case. Just make sure make sure you know where you're pulling them from and do so at your own risk. When we line this up, we want the connectors to be facing to the outside of the caddy, or in other words, when we put the caddy back, you want the connectors to be facing inwards and to, towards the inside of the case. 
Then you'll see these holes on the top for your hard drive. You want to line those up with the four holes on the caddy so that you can drop some screws in here. And we're placing our caddy back inside. We're going to be careful with all the wires. Make sure that all the necessary connectors are, you can get them to where they need to be and they're generally out of the way. Now our caddy is roughly back in place. We're going to put the screws that hold the caddy in place back in. That went on the inside and on the front. Okay, caddy's back in place. Now we need our connectors. And as I mentioned, but just in case you didn't pick it up, if you were using an HDD, it would be kind of this, it would be the same process, except it would lay across this way, and the, you'd use the different bolt holes, and then your connectors you'd hook it up right here. All right, our connectors are back in. So now to the optical drive. I'm gonna slide that back in. Push that in until it clicks back into place. And you guessed it, the optical drive is back in. So now we need to reconnect the cables. Now time for the front panel. We're gonna pop that back on. It's got these kind of little tabs on the bottom. They kind of look like hooks. And here's the corresponding slots for those hooks. So you're going to kind of drop the hooks down and in, and then just kind of rotate the panel back in towards the front. Push the front until it snaps back into place. Now the finishing touches. Take your panel, get it to lie flat on top of the case, and you just kind of slide it in. And you have your one little bolt type thing. I'm gonna screw that back into the back. And that should be it. You should be ready to go to relatively simple and inexpensive upgrades. And like I said, if you're interested in the fate of this machine when we build the retro emulation device, uh, stay tuned in, subscribe, keep an eye out for should be the next video or one of the next videos I release. And all right, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.